Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you're like me, you probably spent way too many hours inside of Unreligion over the past couple of years, and somewhere along that journey, you probably remembered stumbling across this little gem, the Shooter Game Sample Project. Back in the Unreligion 4 era, this project was practically everywhere. It was one of the first complete shooter templates that Epic Games released, a fully playable networked first-person shooter game right out of the box. And for a lot of developers, this was our first hands-on lesson in how a professional first-person shooter actually worked behind the scenes inside of Unreligion. 4. But what's really wild is just how far the influence reached. This wasn't just some random demo, it actually became the foundation for several massive games. Titles like Valorant and Ark Survival Evolved both started from this very same project. And if you ever peeked at your task manager while playing some of those games, you might have actually noticed something familiar. Little process name called ShooterGame.exe, which is just a quiet reminder and reference to Unreligion's roots hiding in plain sight. So today, here in 2025, I thought it'd be fun to take a trip down memory lane and revisit the original shooter game sample project, just explore what made it so special, and to just see how it holds up in modern day. And honestly, this project isn't just nostalgic, it's also a piece of Unreligion's history. And if you guys are new here to the channel, my name is Smart Polly. I make all sorts of Unreligion news and content, and if you are interested in learning Unreal Engine for game development, I have some exciting news. My Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course bundle now has a 25% off limited time sale. To commemorate the launch of Unreal Engine 5.7, we're having a special 25% off discount. So use code UNREAL57 at checkout when you purchase the survival game course bundle. Get access to over a hundred hours of learning content between both courses included in the single bundle and kickstart your game development journey today. So check it out, link in the description below or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we are inside of the project and what's interesting about this is you actually need to download Unreal Engine 4.27. So they never got around to updating this project project for Unreal Engine 5, so you'll actually have to go ahead and download 4.27. Now a couple of interesting facts about this project is that they used static lighting. So as you can see, they have a bunch of these point lights. They're using baked lighting for the scene. So none of this lighting is using, you know, dynamic lighting. And they're also using, I believe, these screen space reflections. So you'll notice a lot of the reflections in this game if you stare at the floor. So if we actually go ahead and play test this, I actually have the demo packaged over here. So here's the main menu. You can see the host menu has this nice different settings. We have free for all, team deathmatch. You can change the number of bots that you want. You can change the map as well. So we have sanctuary and high rise. We're going to check out high rise and let's go ahead and host this. So it has a very basic multiplayer functionality. And the interesting thing about this is that it was used in games like uh, Valorant and Ark Survival Evolve as the base game template. So some of you guys might know what I'm talking about. Like if you ever check out the task manager, you'll notice that it says shootergame.exe. Well, that's actually where it comes from. It's from this project. So here we are inside of the game. So we have a very simple sprint system. And we have a weapon over here. Let's see if we actually find some of the bots. So it comes with some built-in AI. Okay, so here are some of the different guys. Okay, so we can run around the map. And the AI in this game are... I don't know, the difficulty is actually pretty decent when you compare it to some of the other uh, templates that Epic has released. So let's go ahead and jump down here. Yeah, it feels like some of the AI in here have like aimbot. Or at least the difficulty is actually, you know, pretty decent. Like that, you just get beamed out of nowhere. So it has a respawn system, and everything is network replicated. And that's mainly the main reason why a lot of studios use this as, you know, a base project, is because it already had, as far as I know, all the networking and stuff set up. So we have a ammo pouch over there. We can switch to a second weapon. So if you use the scroll wheel. You can switch to like this grenade launcher or this rocket launcher. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a kill with this. I don't know where all the bots ran off to. Okay, so here's one of them over there. No ammo. So actually we need to get an ammo pickup. So let's go ahead and see if we can find one. So what's interesting is you spawn in with no ammo for the rocket launcher. So you have to go and find ammo for it. So let's go ahead and run over here. And... We actually have a pickup, so we'll go ahead and reload that. There we go. Let's see if we can aim over here at this guy. Yeah, so you kind of have to aim it at the ground. And I think it does like splash damage or something like that. 
But yeah, what's neat about this demo is this thing is made in Unreal Engine 4. So yeah, we're running this game on my 4K monitor. And again, none of the lighting in here is using dynamic lighting. This is all just baked lighting. For the baked lighting to look any good, you had to kind of, you know, add lights in certain areas to sort of like mimic uh, bounce lighting, like global illumination. So let's actually go to the other main menu over here. So let's switch the map to the other map, which is Sanctuary. Let's go ahead and hit play here. So this other map is the one that we see in the main menu there in the background, which I think is a pretty nice level. And we have sort of like the spectator bot that you can fly around while the match starts. So we're waiting for the match to start. We spawn in and let's go ahead and see if we can find some of the other bots. And I really wish that Epic would release some more demos like this. I mean, they have the Project Lyra demo, but I feel like that one is just, you know, way too bloated in my opinion. But the difference with this project is that I think this project is mainly just using C++. So I don't know if they're actually using the gameplay ability system. They're not really using much blueprints as far as I'm aware. But yeah, look at this level. You can see sort of like the fog off in the background there. And they're just using things like a simple sky dome. And again, probably the baked lighting over here. You can see some of the reflections. Hopefully I don't get beamed by bots while I'm running through the level. I think a neat thing to do would be to actually try and remake this project inside of Unreal Engine 5. Maybe if they go ahead and actually upgrade it, but keep sort of like the same setup here with the same assets and also use the same lighting setup. I mean, maybe you can have one with dynamic lighting and one with baked lighting and just show the you know different comparison. So yeah, it'd just be pretty interesting to see that little comparison. But yeah, I actually got this demo running on my Steam Deck as well. Uh, but the thing is the performance isn't the greatest at least because of, you know, something like the settings. The options menu in here is not that advanced. So I have to actually go into like the file to uh, tweak some of the settings to get it to actually run pretty well on the Steam Deck because it runs around like 60 FPS with some dips down into like 50. Dang, we actually blew up both of those guys over there. But yeah, what's neat about this demo is that you can download all the assets in here and you can use them commercially in your game. So if you're learning with Unreal or trying to experiment, there's a lot of stuff like animations, you know, character models, all that stuff that you can use in here. And it's always really good to use for, you know, separate projects for learning. Okay, so the match finished and it also starts the next round, which is the same map. But yeah, I really wish that Epic would put out some more games or more demos like this that are just like super simple. You know, they have one or two different weapons and they have a full menu system, the options, all that stuff. The project, you know, Project Lyra is a good example of this, but with I feel like that project is just like way too complex. Uh, I feel like they need to release a couple of demos that are good for indie or solo devs that are just working on a project by themselves and also demos that just have you know simplified and optimized assets but yeah let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below maybe i'll make a separate video on taking some of these assets and animations and remaking a game with it in unreal engine 5 let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below that's pretty much it for this video so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one